Hey guys, uh, my name's Tavera Funa. I will be, my speech today will be targeting uh, young men, young Christian men from the age of 16 to 24, 25. Main, main target audience, but could be for anyone in the Christian faith. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining us here tonight. My name is Tavira Funa. I'm 22. I'm born and raised Australian, and my background is Tongan. Uh, I come from Fairfield, uh, Western Sydney, um, and I play footy for a living. Uh, I currently play for Manly Warringah Seagulls uh, in the NRL. Made my debut just last week, um, and yeah, just my journey alone uh, testifies to the awesome and wonderful God that we serve. So today, uh, we'll talk. We'll be talking about struggles. Everyone struggles. So struggles is something that every single human faces, whether Christian, non-Christian. Believer, non-believer, religious or non-religious, every single human being here on earth faces struggles. And our theme today will be endurance. The Bible verse I have for you today is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. And it says, There hath no temptation taken you but as but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. So from this one Bible verse, one passage in the Bible, it gives us so much strength, gives us so much hope, and uh, is very, very powerful in our Christian life. So, trials and tribulations. What does the Bible say about trials and tribulations? In James chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, it says, My brethren, count it all joy that when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So the Bible it says to be happy when you become when you come up against trials and tribulations. But is it is it a happy thing? Is it something to be happy about? It depends on how your perspective is and how you look on it. Here in the first little line of our passage, First Corinthians ten thirteen, there hath no temptation taken you, but as is such, but such as is common to man. So, temptation. Every single man faces temptation, whether it's lust, whether it's money, whether it's the clothes that you wear. We all face temptation, trials and tribulations, sufferings. We all face them. But as a Christian, you know, like oh, non believers, non Christians, they may, you know, it, it's a normal thing. Um, even as a Christian, it's a normal thing uh, to be sad, to be troubled when you come when you come up against trials and tribulations. But if we, if our faith is strong, if our faith, we have faith as a mustard seed, and we have strong faith in the Lord, we will be happy. Do you know why we'll be happy? It's because the trials and tribulations that we face. It makes us a better person for it. It helps our faith. It makes our faith even better. What do you ask? So, yeah, I will give you a quick little analogy. Um, me, I am a pretty good driver. Um, I'm a pretty fast driver. I have lost my license a few times, but I really love to drive. I'm a really fast driver. I'm a safe, fast driver, okay? Um, and my sister, on the other hand, isn't so good. <laughs> so I try and kind of teach her and um, help her to be a better driver. 
Uh, and one analogy that I, I've, I've given her was, if you drive to work, a straight road, no traffic, nothing. It was just a straight drive to and from work every single day. Will you be a better driver? No, how can you be? Because it's just one straight road. It's easy. There's no obstacles. Whereas if you drive to and from work, one hour drive, going all around the bush, you know, facing so much traffic. There's so many different barriers and and things that stop us from getting to our destination, that is what helps us become a better driver. Because then, that experience that we've gone through, um, we remember, oh, I've been through here, I know what to do here. It's the same thing with uh, the trials and tribulations that we face. So, be happy when we face trials and tribulations because um, it makes us better for it and yeah, it works, it works patience in us and in our faith, as James chapter 1, verse 2 and 3 says. Um, there's even in, even in the Bible, there's a story in the Bible, um, and this is a, a, from a reading that I read uh, in the book Developing Christian Servant Leadership Faith Based uh, Character Growth at Work by Roberts, Gary E. And he says, and he talks about David being an, an adulterer um, and that, you know, his lustfulness for Uriah's wife um, causes him to sin and that sin then brings forth death, as he says in uh, first, uh, the first chapter of James. Um, and he says, although it is enticing and seems like it will bring what you want, it will cause you to receive something you never bargained for. It will extend through to the to others and affect them. So, you know, we do fa we do face trials and tribulations, but just remember that if we do fall and we do end up sinning, it doesn't just affect us, but it affects those that we love. And also those that we may not know. So be happy when you face trials and tribulations because it makes us better for it. And another Bible verse I wanted to share as well is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. Uh, that the trying of your faith um, bringing much more precious, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honour and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. So, suffering. Um, as I've touched on, we all face sufferings. Suffering is inevitable. Um, you know, Jesus, he went through suffering. So, you know, the perfect man, you know, our God went through suffering. How can we, as, you know, followers of Christ, complain if we, if we go through suffering? Um, so we just got to remember that, you know, every single person here on earth goes through suffering. Uh, just as, as the Bible has said, uh, there's no temptation that is not common to man. Um, but the difference that we have between uh, non-believers or non-Christians is our faith. Our faith in Jesus Christ. So as it says in, in Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 and 2, it tells us to seek those things that are above. You know, where Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God. So, you know, our perspective and our mindset, it changes from, um, you know, being kind of in the first person uh, to our suffering to being with God and seeing that this is just a temporary season that we're going through and we'll overcome and we will end up being with Jesus. So our faith helps us to overcome those uh, sufferings, although it is hard, but, you know, God is good and, and um, you know, he says, in the second little phase of um, our Bible verse, First uh, Corinthians ten thirteen, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So that is something that I personally um, I love um, and I hold on to, because whenever I do come through sufferings and, and temptations that. 
are far beyond what I think I'm capable of, I then have that mindset that, no, you know, this God knows that I can, I can, you know, withstand this temptation. He knows that, like, I'm sweet, I can do this. Kind of like how he knew Job could overcome, you know, whatever the Satan took, whatever Satan took from him, even to the point of all the boils on his, on his, um, on his body. But still, Job was faith, faithful. He was a righteous man of God. Shook his clothes, went on his knees, and said, "Naked I came from the womb; naked I shall go." Blessed be the name of the Lord. What an awesome story! Awesome stories that the Bible has, um, you know, of men that we should be following um, in our faith. So just remember keeping our eyes up on the Lord. And just another quick, um, um, another quick little story is um, Jesus when Peter walks on the water. Jesus walks on the water. Peter jumps out of the boat. Jesus says, "From not to be afraid." He jumps out of the boat. He's walking on the water. His eyes are fixed on Jesus. Fixed on the things above. As soon as he hears the roaring of the of the of the storm and the on the waves crashing, his eyes then take are taken off Jesus and are you know fixed on the storm. You know when we fix ourselves on the sufferings, that's when we sink. That's when we fall. But if our eyes are stuck on Jesus, we may be you know we can do all things. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And by just keeping our eyes on Him. We can be like him. Uh, and God's grace. God's grace. God's grace. Man, God's grace for us. You know, wow. Like I, I touched on earlier. But with, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So just remember, you know, like, God is faithful. God loves us. That whatever we face, he has a way out for us. He's not just going to throw us into the deep end. He's our Father. He loves us. Um, and just another little um, saying in Gary E. Roberts' uh, book, failure is the soil where grace grows. Just remember that we, he says in, um, Paul says, for we have all sinned and, and come short of the glory of God. Uh, so, you know, through that failure, that is a soil where, where grace grows because if we can't do anything without Jesus. We can't do anything without God. And God knew that, which is why he sent Jesus down to die on the cross for our sins. That we may have life and be with him. And, you know, just by seeking our eyes on the things above, we may have life. So just a quick recap. Um, you know, everything that we go through, we, we, we go through it for a reason, and it's to make us stronger, um, stronger for our character as well, you know, for our faith, our character, so that, you know, f further on down the track, as our, as our faith matures, you know, little things that we struggle with now will be a piece of cake for us later, as long as our eyes are fixed on Jesus, and, uh, you know, we, and we have confidence and that trust in, in Him. And as he says in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Uh, God bless everyone. Have a good night. And I hope that you guys um, gain some confidence and, and learned more and in-depth God's word. God bless.